Hey guys, just thought I'd reassess this uh, sump video that I've been doing. I wanted to clarify a few bits and pieces. Uh, I wanted to start with the first chamber here, which is, oh there's my ice machine going. Uh, the first chamber is, that's where the water comes down and it comes down to the bottom and then you've got a chamber underneath here uh, that the water comes up through the second chamber. Um, this piece of glass here is one piece of glass and it stops there. It's like about an inch below uh, the top of my tank and that dictates your backflow if you ever have a problem. So the tank here flows underneath and it's supposed to come down like that, uh, flow underneath here, then back up over the chamber. But what happens is if this wall here gets blocked up, what it does is it backs up here and it comes back over your tank and it's set at that level there, which is the emergency level. Uh, and what it does is it flows straight over the top of all that media there and then goes down into my biological filtration. And as you can see with this tank, um, this filter wall is actually blocked up even though it doesn't look that bad. Um, and what it's doing is it's back flowing up here. And if I lift the top of my tank, you can see that uh, the top of the bulkhead, top of the bulkhead here, the water is flowing over it, and it's just skimming over the top of everything and missing it. But what that is is it's a safety feature in case you're lazy like I am, and your filtration gets back blocked. So it's really important. That's just one piece of glass. You've got an inch and a half at the bottom. You've got an inch or an inch and a half at the top and it back flows back over the top if there's some sort of emergency. What you really want for it to happen though, obviously, is for it to come through the bottom and over through the top. Uh, and then that, this bulkhead here is, I don't know, it's probably, uh, there's the top of the bulkhead there somewhere. There's the top of the bulkhead there, that's about three inches. So you've got a waterfall effect. So nothing can ever backflow back up that way. Um, so that one overflows into uh, my biological fil filtration. That also only needs to be one bulkhead. It goes through my uh, biological filtration and then we come to where it has to come through the bottom. So what happens is you have two bulkheads here and that first bulkhead dictates, that's probably about, uh, I don't know, probably about an inch or two lower than the previous bulkhead. So it's lower again. And what happens is that dictates any emergency flow in your biological tank here. Uh, but what happens is the water actually comes down here and because that one there is lower than this one the water flows over. If there's any uh, backflow it will actually come over the top. And then we go into where your water gets pumped back up to the tank. Uh, not sure whether that really made things a little bit more obvious or not. Uh, my 2 a.m. Uh, descriptions of things are probably not the best time to be doing things but it's the most fun for me because I've had a couple of coldies but uh, there you go